We're going to look at the Repeat Signage Professional Edition. Now at the moment I've got the trial version installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this drop down here to the Professional Edition. And on this particular screen, if I click on the Monitors tab, you'll see I've got two very low resolution screens connected. Screen 1 at 800 by 600 pixels and screen 2 at 800 by 600. Now this is a really low amount of pixels, but for the purpose of recording the videos, it just makes it easy to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clicking on presentations and I'm going to create a new presentation. Now because I've got two screens it's basically going to ask me which screen I want to design on. So I can either do screen one on its own, screen two on its own by putting the tick there, or create a presentation that spans both screens which is what you're going to be wanting to do in most cases. Because uh, the idea of the Repeat Signage Professional Edition is you, you can actually create video or media walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a presentation that spans both screens. Now if you look at the pixels box here, now both screens are 800 by 600 pixels. So if that's 800 wide and you add another 800, you end up with a presentation size that's 1600 by, by 600 there. So I'm going to click on Create. And I've got... Uh, a large desktop area where I can um, add things. So for, for example, if I just insert a flash RSS reader control, and I'm just gonna browse and select the default one. Now what I can do is I can make that span both screens. So if I right mouse click that, size, screen width, that is actually going between two separate monitors. Now on the video you see, you're just going to be seeing one lot, one line, um, long um, video, but that's actually going to be sort of two separate screens. So that um, control for start will scroll uh, directly between both screens. So if I just save this, and I'm going to call it um, test 1600 by 600. And then I'm going to click on File and Exit. Now you've got exactly the same options when you come to play a presentation. If you've got more than one screen attached, the first it asks you which presentation you want to play. So I'm going to select that one. And at the moment, because it's it's worked out that we've got um, 200 by 600 screens and the presentation size is 1600 by 600 by 600 it's automatically sort of like tick both boxes so when I play this it's going to play across both screens and there's my finished presentation just right mouse click and click on exit to close it down but what I could do is when I come to play a presentation I can play exactly the same one but this time I'm just going to choose to play it on screen two so I'll take the tick out of screen one box and play. Now what's going to happen though is because you've got a 1600 by 600 pixel wide presentation and you're only sticking it into a screen that's like um, half that width, it will dynamically resize that presentation. And there we go. So I'm just going to right mouse click on that screen and close that down. Now, the only other things we need to show you really is the monitors tab. Now you've got a refresh button there, but you've also got a quick link to open up the display settings on Windows. Now I'm recording this on Windows Vista, um, so that's what the display settings screen looks like. But if you're if you're recording on say like um, if you're using it on Windows 7, 8, 8.1, then you're gonna you're gonna see a slightly different screen. Um, but what this does do allow me to do is to control the monitors. So if I click on number one, I can actually change the screen resolution. See, it goes much higher. Or I click on monitor two. Now, that's quite a key point. You must have, the, when you attach a second monitor to a system and you're gonna need multiple um, graphics ports on your computer, then you must extend your desktops onto the second monitor to, in order to, for repeat signage to actually see it.